kind of incredible. We're only a couple days into our trip up to Alaska. We've already made great friends with someone who's converting a bus. Janelle's been checking stuff off her bucket list. We've had some of the best camping spots I've been at so far. If this is any indication of what's in store for us for the rest of this trip, oh man, this is, this is a great start. Taking off those first boards over a year ago, we thought we had a good grasp on the challenge that lay ahead. It would be months before we truly began to understand the mountain of work ahead, just for us to reach the starting line. We learned how to cut holes, take care of rust, mill lumber, sew cushions, weld things, and work together without our marriage falling apart. Lots of mixed emotions as we officially moved out of our suite and got ready to hit the road north. All that was left was to actually do it. I'm pumped up. Why are you pumped, Levi? We're moving our home down the road. We're going north today. We're gonna to be packing most of this up into our little trailer out there and then storing the trailer for the summer. I didn't know if today would ever really come. <laughs> Show me inside the shop. All our stuff is gone. Where's all our crap? Yeah, that's a good question. Not in here. <laughs> Packed it all up. The van's feeling pretty full. And it's time to get out of here. <laughs> what Lou said? I didn't reattach my seatbelt. Whoopsies. <laughs> Hello, morning light. See the bear? I feel like we're gonna need to like keep a tally. Of, like how bear many, tally. how many bear, how many moose, how many, all the things. I don't know what we're all gonna see. <laughs> Warming up winter's chill. Somehow I feel better than before. So we're, uh, we've been driving for just a couple hours today. We're going to look for a sweet camp spot. So we're about to take a turn off to the lake. Hopefully it's beautiful and there's a place to park for the night. And we're going to check it out. Here we go. Hello afternoon. Failing up this living room. Calming me back down. When no one else is around and quiet is Check sound, this out It makes me feel better than before I don't know how many degrees of uh, water mountain view this is but it's over 180 Oh yeah, we've got a like, panoramic view. This yeah. is panoramic <laughs> if I ever knew what that was <laughs> I think one of my favorite parts is I realize like you just drive up, but there's nothing to set up. Like we're just like, now we just do life here. How's my van life wife doing? I'm doing so, so good. What's this? What's going on? We are going to make some popcorn. <laughs> you know, just have a little craving for some popcorn. We had room to take that along? <laughs> we made room for this because our favorite snack is popcorn in the Whirly Pop. We're not going to do a van tour for a little while. I actually want to use the van before we um, try to do a van tour of any kind just because... Probably going to be moving stuff around a lot as we figure out the best place for anything anyway. We actually had a, a new friend that I made on Instagram stop by this evening. Uh, he's from this area. But uh, Carter, that's his name, he's doing his own bus conversion and he's actually a helicopter pilot. So Janelle, what's, uh, what's going on tomorrow? He hooked us up with a helicopter ride tomorrow morning and I'm so excited because I've never been in one. And this is like a bucket list thing. We have a mouse. 
<laughs> Janelle? So unimpressed. <laughs> so unimpressed. Uh, I got a little trap set, and we're going to try to catch this little guy. What I've done is I've taken a bucket, and I've put a spoon and some peanut butter on a roll. I'm just not convinced this is going to roll enough, and I'm pretty sure it could get out of that bowl. So maybe this isn't, maybe this isn't going to work at all. Our mouse trap didn't work, uh, but we heard the mouse all night. <laughs> Here we are, Yellowhead. Stars are tracing the sky like city windows. I watch you reflect in your eyes. Floating on the New York City high rise. You and me on top of the world. And I'm feeling. Cool. <laughs> Isn't that just the best thing ever? Yeah. Just makes you want to always fly everywhere. And you can just like see everything all the time. So many windows. We're hanging out at this little uh, base where hikers are getting flown up to Mount Ron Robson. And then other hikers are being flown out from this hike and then they're gonna fly us out and hopefully we get to maybe go around Mount Robson at least once. <laughs> at least once. Try to remain to a face that it can't be contained. It just won't do what I want, so I'll let it out. My body's been aching from time to time, and I'm sorry for shaking your steady grace. But I'll say it if you say it. But I won't go first If you wanna leave Then walk me out <laughs> Let's go get lost on a long back road Where the river turns to streams And the time moves slow It's not anything you say Anywhere we go It's just being alone Being alone Step it must follow, then stay back and fight for what you That was want epic. Now. That's that's actually probably one of the most epic helicopter rides I've been on. That was insane. <laughs> so, well Matt, that was incredible. Hey. <laughs> you can probably just go home now, right? <laughs> yeah. Cut the trip short. Hard to top that. Okay, we've done a quick supply trip pick up some essential northern supply items. Some mouse traps, some fly and mosquito swatters, primarily mosquitoes, citronella candles. And we're pulling into the back section of the, the hangar here at the airport and we're gonna park right next to Carter's bus. I'm pumped to check this thing out. That was our morning adventure. That's a 212 down there, by the way. Oh, wow. It's a big daddy. It's like a bus of a helicopter.
There's the bus. I think I want to put your bus in the thumbnail. You want to you want to have this bus finished, and then you want to take it wherever you're working from hangar to hangar because you just finished your pilot's license last yeah. year or? Correct, yeah, April 2018, I got my pilot's license, my helicopter license. And uh, yeah, basically I've been uh, kind of bouncing around uh, to a couple of hangars around uh, British Columbia. So I was hoping to bring my home with me if I was living in crew houses or hotels, being able to jump around and, and uh, do that. But also just want to have time off and shoot down to Whistler and uh, park the bus or shoot up, up north and just find some really cool spots to hang out with some cool people. We're at a good stage now. I, uh, I should have it framed by hopefully the end of this weekend, and then it's all new building up from here. Carter. Yes. Thanks for inviting us into your world. <laughs> no problem. Glad you guys could stop in. Glad it worked out. Carter has set a pretty high bar of activities to do with friends you meet on the internet. We're going to close off the episode here, and we're going to start heading more north tomorrow. Very much looking forward to getting to Yukon and Alaska, but we're, we're not in any rush. So that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, Life's better when you make stuff. Peace.